Hello and welcome to Warburg Nature Reserve, a stunning gem of reserve nestled in the Chiltern Hills. Warburg is one of 80 nature reserves managed by the Berkshire, Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire Wildlife Trust. Together they provide safe places for wildlife to thrive, places for people to visit right on their doorstep and natural habitats to help tackle the climate crisis. This incredible nature reserve, and more than 100 hectares in size, offers a real sense of peace and quiet away from the hustle and bustle of normal everyday life. Despite not being that far out of town, it actually feels really remote and like you're in the middle of nowhere. Warburg offers year-round wildlife interests from a broad range of habitats, from the flower-strewn grasslands in the valley bottom to magnificent woodlands thrusting up the valley sides. Particular highlights include the sensational variety of orchids, hundreds of species of fungi, many rare and beautiful butterflies, and some magnificent ancient trees in the woodland, all cared for with the help of our incredibly hard-working volunteers. All of this is thanks to Vera Pool, who fundraised in the 1960s to help purchase this wonderful nature reserve. The best place to start any visit is the Interpretation Centre opposite the car park, which is open daily. It offers all the tips you'll need to support your visit, as well as toilet facilities. We'll be following the mile-long circular wildlife walk on our visit today, which is waymarked by the badger symbols. You can, of course, extend your visit by linking up with some of the footpaths and bridleways that come through the reserve. A lot of the paths are steep, but we have a tramper mobility scooter available for hire, just let us know in advance and we can organise that for you. Before we head off, let's take a quick peek in the bird hide next to the interpretation centre. So in the hide we have a lovely view of the pond here. Depending on the time of year that you visit, you can see a few different species. At the moment the yellow flag iris is looking wonderful and I can see some ragged robin with a bee feeding from it and lots of dragonflies and damselflies as well. There's also a bird feeder and again on here you might see lots of your usual garden birds, sort of great tits, blue tits, long-tailed tits. We also often get nuthatches and woodpeckers as well. Right, let's start our walk. This lovely piece of woodland is one of the first places you'll come to as you come out of the car park and walk up the hill on your wildlife walk. It's one of my favourite spots because it's lovely and cool and has a sense of magic and it's nice and refreshing to come in here when you come out of the chalk grassland. This is a really good spot to look for fungi in the autumn. There are over 900 species of fungi here at Warburg. Under this tree is a really good spot to have a look. There's almost a carpet of fungi. Some of the species you might see include magpie inkcap and porcelain fungus. The woodland is also great for lots of different bird species. We've got owls and woodpeckers and chiffchaffs. Can hear one just there. This area is also great for seeing red kites who are often seen circling overhead, a signature of the Chilterns. We've now come out into the chalk grassland. This is one of the most special habitats at Warburg and is the reason why it's a triple SI. In the UK, we've lost most of our chalk grasslands since the Second World War, so it's a really important habitat to look after. As you can see around me, there's a lot of vegetation, lots of different plants and herbs. The smell is incredible. It can smell all sorts in here. At the moment, it's mostly yellow flowers that are in flower, so the hawk bits, the bird's foot trefoil, and the yellow rattle there at the front. You can also see quaking grass and marjoram that will be in flower later in the year. If you come here in the summer, so July, August, there'll be a lot more colours across this whole chalk grassland. Behind me, you can see there are some patches of scrub. This isn't always a bad thing. We want a little bit of scrub for some of our butterfly and bird species. However, it's important to stay on top of in the chalk grassland because if we don't, then succession happens 
and this will soon become woodland. Oh, there's some dog rose coming into flower and the dogwood's coming into flower as well. Lovely. As you walk around, you might notice some of these multi-stem trees. This one here is hazel. Historically, these thicker branches would have been cut to make things like furniture and to use as firewood. As you can see, as they get bigger and thicker and older, the canopy closes in, making it a lot darker and harder for lots of the ground flora to grow. into the chalk grassland once again. This one's a lot more open, as you can see, and it's extra special because it's home to Chiltern gentians, which are gentians only found in the Chilterns. Here, as you come down the hill, they reach autumn gentians with which they hybridise. On a day like today, when it's really hot, you'll probably see lots of different butterflies here. You'll see more common ones, such as common blue, ringlet and meadow brown, but we also have some rarer ones, such as the green hair streak. Once you reach the beech woodlands, you might see these cages and wonder what they are. We've put these up to protect the narrow-lipped and the violet hellebrines from the deer and also to prevent them from getting stepped on. They're not in flower right now, but if you come here in August, later on in the summer, then they should be. Earlier, we looked at an area of more mature coppice. Here's an area that was coppice just about a year ago. As you can see, a lot more light has been let into the area, and this will help stimulate the growth of the ground flora. Species such as primrose and dog violet will come back, and this will support butterfly species. Without coppicing, those species would just all be lost. This provides a great habitat for small mammals, including dormice, which we have here at Warburg, which is really exciting. The coppicing actually prolongs the life of the tree, which means we get lots of different ages throughout the woodland. The dormice like to nest low down in the stool in the nooks and crannies, so this habitat is perfect for them. We've now come full circle back to the car park. I hope you've enjoyed your taste of Warburg Nature Reserve and are excited to come and explore for yourself. It's worth coming in any season, as each has its own highlights and sense of magic. <laughs>